Hello YouTube, Asuma here with another Minecraft tutorial. This is the Apple Tree Farm version 2 and I'm going to tell you about tree farming and then show you how to build this. Building an apple tree farm will provide a safe environment for harvesting wood without any interruption from mobs. It is also significantly faster than chopping down trees one by one and yields more wood for the time it takes. The design contains the growth of trees so all of the apples and saplings can fall into the collection area which saves the player from running around. The water then pushes the items into a stream which transports them to a single collection point. The flaw with the previous design is that drops were able to land on the dirt rows where the saplings were planted. This means the player had to run back and get them. The flaw with this design is that every sapling will have to be replanted rather than just the ones that grew into trees. We grow the trees in rows like this to make harvesting quick and easy, but as more trees sprout the saplings have less chance of growing. You do not have to wait for all of them to grow to harvest, but you should build a bigger or smaller farm depending on how often you use it. Normally in my tutorials I like to build things layer by layer, but this time we're going to take a slightly different approach. So first of all, when you're building a tree farm, you're going to build them in segments because each segment is identical to one that follows it. So depending on how big you want to build your tree farm, you make more segments. And we're going to build this one with just four. So first of all, a segment is 17 blocks wide and three long. And as you can see, I've used white wall and grey wall to highlight the different segments. So the first thing we want to do is place down our fence gates once we've designated the amount of land that we need. And we're going to place a row of them in the middle. Oh, there we go. And then we're going to dig a trench that's too deep, like this. Now what we want to do is place redstone torches on either side the whole way along like this. Next we need to place our lighting and we need one block on either side. You can use either glowstone or a jack-o'-lantern or if you can't afford either of those you could place a torch with a glass block on top and you need to place that here and on this side as well. Now we need to place some blocks on either side of the segment. You need to place three blocks here and here, then one block at the top in the middle, then two blocks at the back like this, one here in the middle, and then one in this space here. And you need to do the same thing on the other side. Next we need to place our piston and our water, and we're going to break this block here, and then place the water at the back, and then look up and place the piston like this and you'll need to do that the same on the other side as well. Next we need to place our redstone and this is very simple. You place a repeater facing the back of the tree farm and the other side of this block you place a redstone dust and then you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Now we need to build the walls on either side and build them up another four blocks. And then at this site here we need to build the roof all the way across to it reaches the other side. Now we need to build a wall at the back of the room. Now we need to build a wall at the front of the room, but this time we're going to leave an entrance to get into the tree farm. The entrances you place will need to be in line with this row of blocks, which is one across from the light source. Now we're going to wire the redstone, and you do this by placing a block in front of the repeater with a redstone wire on it. Then lead the wire out to a lever that you can use to control both sets of pistons. Alternatively, you can put one lever for each set of pistons. Now we're going to place in our water stream. And the way we do this is walk all the way to the end, remove this block, and then place some water. And follow it all the way to where it ends, and then place some water again. And you'll need to keep doing this depending on how long your tree farm is. And now the last thing we need to do is make sure that we have dirt in place for the saplings to grow on. And it's this row of blocks here that you need to place three blocks of dirt like this on each of your segments. And that's on both sides. 
but for the first and last segment you need to place just one block of dirt. Apples have a 1 in 200 chance of dropping from decaying leaves. This means that each segment of a tree farm has a 40% chance of dropping an apple. So for the farm to yield 10 apples you would need 25 segments. Spacing saplings with 4 blocks between each other would increase the amount of leaves and would increase the chance of an apple dropping to 55%. This means you can set the farm up depending on if you want more apples or more wood. So that concludes this tutorial and there's a link to download this map in the description box. And if you'd like to ask a question you can leave a comment or get in touch with me via the private message. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.